Today's webinar is the first of an eight week series. And this is very exciting because today is the first week of it and seven weeks following this, we're actually gonna be doing a major product launch every single week. I'm gonna be your host. I'm Greg Mercer, founder and CEO of Jungle Scout. And hopefully you guys are as excited for this as what the whole Jungle Scout team is because it is going to be super cool. I've talked to a lot of Amazon sellers and I always hear frustrations associated with finding suppliers on Alibaba. I think if you guys are experienced with this and you found your own suppliers, you know how this goes. You have to sift through hundreds of suppliers and then um, oftentimes you get to narrow down your, to your top three, but you're still not sure about uh, their quality or if you're actually getting a good deal. And it's, it's really just a frustrating thing. So what instead, if you could just find the top factory for your product and easily contact them and just order it from the top factory? It almost seems too good to be true, right? Um, but by the end of this webinar, you guys are gonna know exactly how to find that perfect factory, headache free, <laughs> using my simple three-step process. So I'm gonna be showing you a special product that we're launching just today. You're gonna to see how to do this. And then for those of you who stay to the end of today's webinar, we're gonna be giving out some free swag. We actually have 10 t-shirts to give away for some of the lucky individuals inside of the chat box. And I also will have a special deal for you guys if you wanna take advantage of it at the end, as well as answering your questions. And that's one of my favorite parts to get to answer all your guys' questions. So um, make, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to stay till the end of this webinar. Like I said, this is the first of eight weeks, and I like to think that you know, as good as today's webinar is, these are almost getting better each week of the next seven weeks following this one. Our developers have been working really hard for literally about like the past half year, and the way that this all shook out is we have a whole bunch of really exciting stuff ready all around about the same time, and we wanna make sure that we are getting you guys set up to really take advantage of those Q4 holiday sales. You'll be learning all about that throughout this series. If you're not familiar with who I am, I'm Greg Mercer, founder and CEO of Jungle Scout, and I got into this business because I myself was an Amazon seller. I've launched over 100 private label products on Amazon, and I can really resonate with probably all of the same problems that uh, you guys have, you know, uh, frustrations with working with factories and other challenges with Amazon. I know how it goes. I understand you guys' pain points, and I'm here for you to help you to make sure we try to minimize those. We were able to release this feature that I'm gonna be showing you shortly to some beta testers. And the feedback we've gotten from these people has been, have been just absolutely fantastic. And it's really fun for both myself as well as our whole teams who've been working really hard for these uh, features to get to read feedback like this from you guys. And it's not only on Trustpilot we're getting reviews, but also we're seeing them on uh, YouTube and Facebook as well. Molly said, wow, that's amazing. This is so exciting. This is gold. Uh, found a supplier in under 15 minutes. So this is really awesome to hear this from you guys. So thank you very much um, for testing it out. And when these beta testers were, were are using the product, when we first released it, we got a chance to interview a lot of them. And these are the common threads I was hearing from all the sellers prior to using this product. I'm not happy with the product quality or, hey, my competitor is selling this super cheap. Where did they source their product from? How do I know if this factory is legit? Are they gonna uh, you know, um, take money from me? Uh, you know, will this production run be the same quality as what the sample is? And these are all the pain points I know you guys have and um, I feel you. So what if I just told you that you could just find and use the exact same factory as the top selling product on Amazon? You probably think I'm a little bit crazy, right? But that's actually exactly what you can now do. And I'm gonna show you guys momentarily how you go about doing this. And it's super powerful. It almost works like magic. And I know you guys are really gonna like it. In order to do so, it's a very simple three-step process. So the first thing you have to do is just locate the top rated product on Amazon. Pretty easy, right? Say I wanted to sell my marshmallow sticks. I would just search marshmallow sticks in Amazon. I would find whoever's getting the top reviews or maybe the top reviews and offering it at a really competitive price. And that would be the top product on Amazon. Next thing you do is you literally just copy their ASIN 
and then you paste it into the supplier database feature, which is inside of Jungle Scout. So that's literally all you have to do. And almost every time, Jungle Scout can actually tell you who their exact factory is. So then you can reach out, you can use the same factory as what they are, so you can get that same high quality or those same low prices, so you can be really competitive on Amazon. So a lot of you guys are probably thinking like, how do you know seller's factories? That's impossible. Or, you know, how do you do that? And it is kind of uh, a little bit mind boggling. I know even me was like, I was trying to put all these different pieces together and it's like, wow, it is um, quite a bit of process the whole thing goes to to get it to work. But where it starts is with import trade data, okay? So when you're importing something into the US, you have to fill out a bunch of paperwork and some of that paperwork gets filed with the US Customs and Border Protection, okay? Now, there's this law in the US called the Freedom of Information Act, and we're actually able to get access to this data, okay? And then this data has a bunch of information in it, like where it was shipped from, uh, who was receiving it, the weight, the quantity, when it arrived, uh, and a bunch of other pieces of information. And this is actually the same way that big companies like Home Depot or Walmart or Amazon Basics find their suppliers. And the really cool thing that we've done though, is we've been able to connect this data to Amazon listings. So before you had to enter like the legal entity of one of these sellers, which was oftentimes pretty darn hard to find, but we've been able to actually connect this data to the Amazon listings. And as a result, you can just search that ASIN and Jungle Scout now tell you which factory they're using. You're probably curious, okay, how are you able to match that data with these Amazon listings? Well, like I said, it's a pretty complex process, but we know like the legal entity, and now we search this through business registrations or trademark data, website information, who is the database. So we match it with all these different sources to try to find out who the, um, uh, or which factories these different Amazon products are using. So it's very, very cool. I um, I first learned about this trade data when I was on a sourcing trip in China. And the reason actually that I found out that Walmart and Home Depot and some of these other big companies are using it is because I was actually uh, being transported from my hotel to our, our to the Canton Fair and I was sitting next to this sorcerer who worked for Home Depot, and this is what she started to tell me about. And she was saying that, um, you know, like, wouldn't it be cool though, if I could actually match that to products online so that I could know the quality as judged by the customer of that factory's products. And I was like, man, that would be really, really powerful. And it's cool because, you know, this was a couple of years now and we've finally been able to figure this all out, connect all the pieces, and it really is like magic. So, you know, this is a huge impact for you guys and I'm gonna show you this momentarily. And after you see this, you're never going to want to source from, um, or find suppliers from anywhere else again. So let's go ahead and let's switch over to the live demo. Um, I know you guys are really gonna like this and um, I'm really excited to hear the feedback in the chat box of what you guys do think about it, all right? So let's go over to Amazon and let's just do an example search. I'm gonna search for water bottle. All right, and now I wanna find one of the top rated products on Amazon because I know that these products are quality, right? These have been, you know, like this one right here, it has 3,000 reviews, it's four and a half stars. So customers have actually told us that they perceive the quality of this item as high quality from the factory, right? So now it's like, okay, if I wanted to sell this water bottle, wouldn't it be cool if I could learn what factory is selling this, okay? So what I can do is I can scroll down into the product details section. Um, where's the product details section, this one? I'll actually just grab it right here out of the URL. So what I'm trying to find is the ASIN. It always starts with B0. You can grab it out of the URL right here, or on most pages it actually shows it on there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop back into Jungle Scout, and the new feature that we are releasing today is inside of the supplier database, and it's the ASIN search, okay? 
So some of you guys may be familiar with the supplier database. We had this for a few months, but this is the world premiere of the ASIN search. So I'm gonna paste that in there. And right away I see, our Jungle Scout's telling me, okay, the ASIN that you pasted in here, this is the brand that creates it. This is the legal entity that owns this brand, okay? And then if I scroll down and start looking at the factories, what I can see here is the different shipments and I can actually filter it by only ones that include the keyword. And I can see how often this company is placing shipments, how big they are, but more importantly, who their actual supplier is, okay? So this is actually the, the supplier that they've been using. It looks like they actually stopped using the supplier um, back at the beginning of last year. But if I scroll down on here, I'm sure I can find the suppliers that they're using now. So this is a really powerful thing, as you can imagine. It's like, man, I just want to find the best supplier for this product, someone that offers it at a very high quality and a low price. So let's do some more um, examples because I just actually just love doing searches and <laughs> seeing it. It's really cool. <clears throat> All right, so we'll, um, I just searched for a hammock. Again, uh, let's see, wow, this one has 5,700 reviews, the top seller, and they're actually able to charge a premium for it, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and click on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the ASIN out of here. Actually, I'll probably show you on this one. Dun, 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 dun. On most pages, it's right here under product information, you can find the ASIN right here. So I'm going to grab it. I'm going to paste it into Jungle Scout. All right, so this ASIN, uh, the brand's called Vivere. This is the legal entity associated with it. And I'm gonna see just the best matches here. And what I can actually do from this is see who or which factories are supplying their hammocks. So there's this one that looks like is based in China. It looks like all of those are actually based in China. And what I can do is I can sort through here and I can also see, okay, which ones are they using now? Or I can start to look at the description of the different shipments to see which one is most applicable for um, what I wanna create. So super powerful, right? It's very, very cool. Let me show you another way that you can actually find these factories. And this is really cool. So um, let me try patio shade, all right? So if you have the Jungle Scout extension, which if you don't, you might be, I might call you a little bit crazy. What you can do is you can search on a page, okay? So I just search for patio shade, and there's a new feature inside of the extension, and as you can see right here, it has this little tag. And what this tag is, um, is a way to easily search in the Jungle Scout supplier database, do an ASIN search for the particular product. So let's take a look at, let's just grab one of these. And it's gonna do this search inside of Jungle Scout for me. And I'm gonna look at the best matches. And I can see right here, you know, they're calling it a shade sale. I don't know if that's what I would call it or not, but obviously this is the same thing, right? There's a shade sale and the hardware. And these are the, the three different factories that they've used to find them. So. Very, very cool, very uh, very powerful, and it makes it so easy now with the extension to just hop right in there and be able to see these factories immediately. Let me, um, let's go ahead and do one more because they're just quick. Um, I I've l recently got into pickleball. <laughs> uh, I was actually playing this morning with some friends. Uh, my dad makes fun of me, even though he's like 30 years older than me, saying it's only for old men and I'm too young to be playing, but I still really like it. <laughs> Um, so let's see where some of these pickleball paddles are made. Same thing, I can search, uh, or I can open it up with the extension, and we'll just take a look at one of these inside of Jungle Scout. And here's some of their suppliers. And there you go. So it's pretty cool, right, that just like instantly like that, you can see who these suppliers are. I can, of course, cross-reference this with the reviews that they're getting. So, you know, this one had 500 reviews with a five-star rating, which is obviously really good. So this is, you know, I would, if I wanted to sell pickleball paddles, uh, this would definitely be the type of factory that I would want to look for. So it's really, really cool. Um, and I, one thing that I uh, want to show you guys is, you know, actually for today's demonstration, it looks like all these have come up with good 
factories right away, but that isn't always the case. And let me see if I can find, we'll try a few other ones and see if there's one that doesn't come up with the right factory. And I can give you guys some advice about how you go about, whoops. I can give you guys some advice of how you go about trying to find that factory. So this one may or may not, let's see here. Mm. Let's see, this one's selling. Yeah, so this, act, well, yeah, maybe. This one uh, uh, might be not the factory, okay? So when that's the case, when I'm not, when Jungle Scout isn't able to locate the factory for this particular product, it's usually because there is not a link between the brand, which this one's called Sports Adventure, which that does kind of sound like a little bit of just a um, kind of, fake brand for lack of a better word. <laughs> Hopefully Sports Adventure is not on this webinar watching this. Um, but what you can then do is you can go in here instead search by product. I'm gonna do pickleball paddle. And what this will do is this will show me other factories that are making pickleball paddles, okay? So this top one that popped up, uh, this factory is in China, and I can see right here that these are the um, pickleball paddles that they're making. And then I can actually look at their customers to see what kind of reviews their customers are getting, um, because that's a great indicator, right, of the quality of this particular factory. So I, I, I really like it. Um, now, there are other types of ways to search through the supplier database besides the new ASIN search feature which we're just rolling out today. Uh, the other way that you can go about it is by searching for a company. So this is the company in the US who's purchasing these goods. Uh, you know, So the name of Jungle Scout's legal entity is JS Operating Company. And if you search it, uh, this is actually uh, our address and here's some of the suppliers that make our case study products. The other way to go about doing it is a supplier search. And what's kind of cool about this is if you find a supplier somewhere else, so let's pretend Alibaba, let's see if there's any pickleball. <laughs> now this is my new favorite example. Pickleball paddle um, manufacturers on Alibaba. What I can do is I can take one of these and see if they've ever imported anything into the US, who their customers are, and just like how legitimate they seem. So I'm just gonna paste in this company name off of Alibaba. It looks like they have made a few shipments, not too many. Um, and it looks like this is who their customer is. And they did send in a pickleball racket for uh, Unitrade. So I could look up Unitrade and see what kind of reviews they're getting. So a very, very powerful tool for finding suppliers. Once you start using this, uh, it's crazy to think about finding suppliers any other way because this is real trade data. So we have like the actual information from the uh, from the U.S. import records, right? So you know, on online marketplaces, these factories could kind of just say whatever they want as far as that you know the their trade history or whatever else goes. But what's cool about this, you can see who their actual customers are. You can see their real trade history, how long they've been importing into the U.S., what kind of frequency they tend to do that on, and a whole bunch of more information. So it's a very very powerful thing. Um, we didn't think we were gonna have this feature, or this, this feature I'm about to show you released by this webinar, but thankfully we were able to get it out just in time. And let me show that to you guys now because it's really cool. So when you're inside of the product tracker, okay, uh, which a lot of you guys are familiar with, but this is a way that you can track either your own products or your competitors' products on a day-to-day -day basis and collect data from them. It's also the way that I like to group my different product ideas and get a aggregate sum or uh, numbers like the demand and competition, whatever else from it, okay? But what's really cool about this is, you know, this is one of the products that I sell, these baby towels. And this is where, you know, I start at with my uh, product research. When I'm doing my product research, I think, you know, I, uh, that's a whole different video, but I find the type of product that I wanna sell. I put it into this product tracker and this is where I store my different ideas. But the next step for that is usually figuring out who's gonna make the product, who's the factories are gonna be. So to do that, we've added this find suppliers button right here inside of the product tracker and you can click it 
and this will actually show you the suppliers of all of the products in your product tracker group. So this is a really quick way to find different factories and you can see which one's the best or which one that you kind of like the best out of that group. So um, the one other really powerful thing about this is you can start to see if there's any suppliers that come up multiple times because those are gonna be quite popular ones. And the other thing I like to do now, since there are tariffs on the China imports right now, I like to look for factories outside of China, okay? So this top one right here, um, let's look at their results. You know, this is the factory that uh, they're using. Uh, it's probably a good factory, and we can dig into that more shortly because uh, they have four and a half stars, so we know the quality at least is pretty good. But I, this caught my eye down here because this particular factory is outside of China, it's in um, Korea, which there wouldn't be any tariffs, or I mean, depending on the, the class, there wouldn't be any tariffs coming from there. So it's a really powerful way to also find suppliers that are outside of regions of the world where the goods are being tariffed. And that's true whether you live in the US or anywhere else in the world, because keep in mind that the, while these are the US import records, this information and data is good for any marketplace, right? Because almost all of the more significant or legitimate factories in uh, China and around the world are gonna be also importing goods into the US. So that you can use this information, you know, even if you are not selling on the US marketplace, which is really cool. Now, after you found some of the suppliers that you like, then what's the next step of it, right? You've found some good suppliers, you um, now want to reach out and contact them, you want to get different prices, maybe samples from a few different ones, and you want to compare those different uh, samples and prices. And now Jungle Scout has made that easy for you guys as well. So what you can do is after you've found the factories you want to work with, so you know this one gets four and a half stars, it looks like they've um, imported a couple from this factory, uh, a couple from this factory. So let's take a look at this factory a little bit deeper. Wow, they actually have uh, 24 different customers, over 100 shipments. Looks like they do all different types of textile products. So I'll say, okay, let me go ahead and make this one of my factories. So I can go up here to save supplier in the top right. I'm gonna create a new group and I'll just call this baby towels. All right, so I can now add that into that group. I'm gonna go back to the search results and find a few other ones here. So this other one, uh, we'll skip that one. Let's definitely add, let's see, let's add this one that's not in China. Let me just take a look at them real quick. Uh, so they've only actually had one shipment, so I'll be a little bit hesitant to order for, from these guys, but for this example, let's go ahead and add it to our group. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. What else do we have here? They've only had one shipment and they're in China. I think we can find something better than that. Let's see what kind of factories this company is using. I see them a lot. It looks like this one's all kinds of baby goods. Yep, quite a few recent shipments. So I can go ahead and add that into baby towels. So this is really cool because, you know, within just a few minutes here, I was able to see what factories the top sellers on Amazon use that are getting good reviews. And I was able to save all those into the supplier tracker. You now see the, supply, the baby towel tab up here. And the next thing to do is you can find the contact information for these different factories. And you can save and organize the data from your communications with them inside of here. So one of the cool things you can do is let's go ahead and just search for some contact data for this factory. Let's look at, let's see. Looks like this is their telephone number. All it does is a Google search, but it actually works really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the phone number and that's added into there. And now let's say I was communicating with them and I got a, um, a, a quote. I can go ahead and add that information in here as well. So I can just say like quote one, I just got it today. They said this is gonna cost $5 each uh, for a 500 unit order. Let's go ahead and save that quote. Now what's really cool is you can you know, quickly find the contact information for these high quality factories. You can reach out to them. You can organize all the information in there and then you can easily compare the 
different factories right here in this dashboard. So I don't know about you guys, but you know, the, um, the, um, <laughs> my, I was just thinking like historically when I was contacting these factories, it was like, kind of like a nightmare. Oftentimes I would use the Alibaba messaging system, but it's like really clunky as far how it's all organized. And then, you know, I was having like some email and I was having to like go back and search through it. So it's a really nice way to organize all these different factories right here inside of your supplier tracker. So it's a really, really powerful thing. Um, since tariffs are a pretty hot topic, and I even see some of you guys commenting about it in the chat box right now, let me show you one other really powerful thing about the supplier database. If I go into the supplier database and just do product, let's just do baby towel for just a quick example. I'm gonna do a search. But what's really cool is you can actually filter the search results by the country of origin. So I know that the, uh, the goods coming from China right now often have higher tariffs. So what I can do is I can search and it will show me all of the baby towels that have been imported into the US that didn't originate from China. So that looks like the Turkey flag. Um, you can go through here and you can find a few of these different factories. Looks like this one's from Korea, uh, Great Britain a few of these different factories that are outside of China. So that's a really powerful thing and that's one of the really popular pieces of functionality with our current audience. So I hear a lot, I'm seeing some of these uh, messages in the chat box and I really like it because um, there's a lot of good questions and I can also see that there's a lot of excitement. Uh, Bertina says, wow, yay, and uh, a lot of really nice comments, which is really cool. And you know, everyone always asks me like, okay, well, how much do you charge for that? And let me ask you guys, like, what is a top factory worth to you? Actually, go ahead and drop it in the chat box. I really enjoy reading the chat box. So let me know in there, you know, because when you're thinking about, okay, uh, if you're ordering a thousand units and you're saving $1 each, that's a savings of $1,000. Or what if all your reviews are gonna be five-star reviews instead of four-star? What's that worth? Mm, almost countless, <laughs> you know, thousands and thousands of dollars over time. Or how much would you be willing to spend to not have to deal with the headaches associated with uh, vetting and looking at all these different factories and you know some of them don't really work out, you're not sure about the quality. Uh, so really like the peace of mind plays a big factor in here as well. And um, looks like there's a number of, <laughs> Roberto says priceless, a few other people uh, put pretty high dollar values in here. And we actually do have a competitor that offers something similar. They can't match up factories with an ASIN, they just have some of the trade data. And you can see that they're charging $399 per month for it. And this is like a common price for this type of data that's not even as powerful because it doesn't even link up the factories to particular ASINs on Amazon. That's really a Jungle Scout exclusive. So, you know, I think about this as like a $399 $9 a month value or more. And with this, we're actually including all of the rest of the Jungle Scout functionality as well. So you get the supplier tracker, which we just spoke about. Uh, that's where you can organize your different factories. Very powerful way to keep track of all the different factories. You also get the product database, which is one of the best ways for finding product opportunities on Amazon. You also get the product tracker. That's the best way to organize all these different ideas. And then you can find suppliers directly from the product tracker. You'll get the Niche Hunter, and there's a lot of exciting stuff coming out from the Niche Hunter soon. Keyword Scout is Jungle Scout's keyword research tool. I wish there was enough time in this webinar to go on and talk about it because I'm really passionate about this tool. It's very powerful and I like it a lot. You'll also get the Listing Builder that helps you build listings with those keywords and continue to optimize them. Now Jungle Scout's even offering email campaigns to follow up with your customers, ask them to leave a review. You can do promotions where you distribute coupons to bargain hunters and they're helping you get additional sales. 
as well as the Jungle Scout Academy, which is our exclusive in-app resource to help you guys learn from A to Z how to be selling on Amazon. So we just released uh, the first few modules with a whole bunch coming soon. I'll have some more announcements about that actually in next week's webinar. Not only that, but this deal that we're giving at the end is also gonna include the Jungle Scout extension. Now you guys have seen that directly in the extension, you can actually find the suppliers for these uh, different ASINs, but it also has a million other pieces of functionality that I didn't even have time to talk about during this webinar. So for this exclusive webinar deal, this bundle is normally $69 per month, but today only, or for the next 24 hours, you can get the you can get Jungle Scout and our extension for half price for the first month. So $34.50. For that price, it's almost crazy not to get it. Like I said, some of our competitors are charging $399 for just like one less than one tenth of the functionality that you're getting out of Jungle Scout. And I've already seen in the chat box how um, much a high quality supplier is worth to you. It's literally worth thousands and thousands of dollars. So at $34.50, it's really a no brainer. And that's what our target for this. We wanted to just make this a no brainer for you guys to make sure you can get it and find that perfect factory from it. As always, Jungle Scout has a 14 day money back guarantee. So there is no pressure at all. Satisfaction is guaranteed. Uh, for any reason, if you don't like it, just shoot us an email and we'll be more than happy to get your money refunded. However, I'm really confident that you will, so that's why we're um, able to offer a generous money back guarantee um, policy. You, of course, have access to our support team. We're answering support tickets 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And if you go start to read some of our reviews all around the internet, you'll see hundreds and hundreds of different comments that speak about how helpful this support team is, not only for helping you learn how to use the software tool, but also just your entire Amazon journey. And these are the types of factories that you can find. You know, these, these are my jungle sticks, and it's, it's, just, it's just so powerful to be able to find which factory is making these products that have five-star reviews. So if you wanna get access to that deal, you can find it at junglescout.com forward slash power. So again, that's junglescout.com forward slash power. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pull that up on my screen real quickly to make sure that you guys um, know what it looks like and to see if you have any questions for me. So if I go to junglescout.com forward slash power, you can find this exclusive deal right here. So it's 50% off your first month. Like I said, at that price, it really is a no brainer. And I see that there are now a number of different questions. So junglescout.com forward slash power. And I encourage you guys to go check it out. So let's see what kind of questions we have from you guys. There's a lot in the question box here. And where do I even begin? Mm -hmm. Sebastian says, your support team is great. Thank you very much for that. I'm glad you enjoy our support team. They've been able to help you out. Europe in Germany marketplaces. So this one's from Afrino. So the data that we're using in here is the US import data, okay? So it's any factory all around the war world that's importing data into the US, okay? Now, that doesn't mean you only have to use or that you can only use these factories for the US, right? You can use these factories for anywhere that you are importing all around the world. Pretty much any factory that you talk to that imports to the US would also be happy to import into Europe or Germany. So, Afrina, that's what I'd encourage you to do. This isn't just restricted to the US marketplace by any means. Um, let's see, they're going by quickly. <laughs> um, how many ASINs in the database? We have, you can really insert any ASIN into the search tool and we're able to search it in real time. So it's not like there's only certain ASINs available in there. Now, like I showed you in the example above, it doesn't work 100% of the time. Sometimes there's no way to link back to the specific 
factory or the specific business. But more often than not, it does work really well, as you saw in the examples. And that works with any ASIN. There's not only a set number of ASINs in the uh, database for the uh, ASIN search. Um, thank you, Greg, from Uzbekistan. Let's see. Is there a webinar that can take us through the whole process of sourcing and selling? I would recommend checking out the million dollar case study. Head over to our Jungle Scout channel. Uh, make sure you subscribe while you're there and I'd recommend checking out the million dollar case study. It takes you from beginning to end. And if you do go ahead and get Jungle Scout, the content inside of the Jungle Scout Academy is the best content we've ever created. Um, uh, I think you guys will really like it. And I'd say, after that's you know all released and we're releasing it now at a, a quick rate, you guys um, will find that I think the best. Let's. This one says I already have the pro extension. How do I get part of the deal for the web app only? The bundle we put together there, it is just for the for new customers who are getting the bundle. Um, I, there's a number of different scenarios that different customers have uh, from historical purchases or whatever else. And if you'd like, feel free to email our support team over at support at junglescout.com. And with that, you can, um, they'll be able to get you sorted out for these different kind of scenarios if I don't answer your question uh, specifically related to it on this. Is there a JS phone app? We really would like to have a Jungle Scout phone app, phone app, but it's not available yet. Sorry, Melanie, I'm really anxiously waiting for it as well, but it's not yet available. Randall said, I want my shirt. <laughs> Our social media team's gonna go ahead and select 10 people out of the chat box, and they will be contacting these 10 individuals to make sure they get hooked up with a Jungle Scout shirt. So Randall, best of luck. I hope you get chosen uh, and you get hooked up with some Jungle Scout swag. Will current Jungle Scout customers have access to this tool? Yes, you will. If you are a current Jungle Scout customer, so not the extension, but a Jungle Scout customer, you can actually go in there and start using this right now. We just rolled it out and it is now available to you. So I would encourage you to go in there and start using it. Let me see here. Um, got a couple comments that says the link is broken. I just tried it on my end and it seemed to work fine. I'd say maybe just try to refresh your browser and it should be okay. Lots of people want shirts. <laughs> Don't you worry, uh, we'll be giving them out and uh, we'll select some good people um, from the chat box. What other questions do you guys have for me? Um, can I review this presentation again after the webinar ends? Yes, we'll be posting this on our YouTube channel. So just search for Jungle Scout in YouTube. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the little notification bell right next to it. And that way you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video to YouTube. And you can also check out the recording from this webinar there. Tom just wanted to say, love what you have created. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much for joining. I'm glad that it's helpful for you. This one says, how do I look up ASINs that have 10 variations? It doesn't show any data. What you can do with this is you can just grab the ASIN of any of the variations. It will do its search there. And if we're able to locate the factories associated with this particular company, they'll, be, they'll show up there. In one of those cases where, it is, uh, where we're not able to match the factory, what I would recommend for you guys is just go to back in and use the product search and just searching for it that way inside of the ASIN search. Um. Justin just said, good info, Greg. Uh, we got another one that says, 
tell us more about Jungle Scout Academy. I would love to tell you more about Jungle Scout Academy, but that's one of the main things we'll be talking about next week. <laughs> so make sure to tune in to our webinar series next week, where I'm going to be giving you a little bit more information about Jungle Scout Academy. It's something that I am very excited about. Um, so you'll learn more about that during next week's webinar. And then, like I said, you know, as, as cool as this feature is and amazing as it is, I think this really gets better week after week as it gets closer to the end. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you continue to attend these live webinars so you can see all this cool stuff that we're rolling out. Um, I see one of the questions is, uh, oh man, all kinds, huh? I am very excited. Uh, I want the orange shirt. Does it have trade assurance like Alibaba? When you contact a f factory through the ASIN search, the communication is actually just between you and that respective factory. So if you really wanted, you could still use trade assurance on the Alibaba platform after you've already vetted them and make sure this is a factory that you wanna work with, but there's no kind of trade assurance through Jungle Scout's platform. Paul just want to say, I've been in Jungle Scout membership for about a year and it's so worth it. They always including new features. Thank you, Jungle Scout. And that actually reminds me of something is, uh, this is one of the ones that uh, scrolled by me too fast earlier. But with all these new features that we're rolling out for the next seven weeks following this, these are all included with the deal here. So junglescout.com forward slash power. If you take advantage of that deal right now, you'll also get all these features and functionality that are being rolled out over the next seven weeks. The same is true with all of our existing customers. You can also access, of course, this functionality, but all this really cool stuff that we're rolling out, which, um, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Sue just, just said, best company ever. Thank you, Sue. Randall said, great webinar, I'm signing up. 2020 is looking bright, that's what I'm talking about. Um, man, I'm supposed to be answering questions here and you guys are just sending nice things in the chat box. Thanks, great system, will be a wonderful time saver. Um, let's see. Cool. Well, I think with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's webinar then. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. If you want to take advantage of that special deal, it's only going to be available for the next 24 hours. So that's junglescout.com forward slash power. We'll go ahead and drop it in the chat box now to make sure that you guys have it. But junglescout.com forward slash power, only available for 24 hours because as most of you guys know, we... Um, uh, usually don't offer any kind of special deals and we don't want these to just be out there floating around all the time. So thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, man, so much this nice stuff in here. Uh, my buddy uses Jungle Sky and claims that they're the best. This is, this is so great, but thank you guys very much. Oh, one more in here. Can I pay with PayPal? Yes, you can actually just shoot our support team a ticket, support at junglescout.com and they'll make sure you get sorted out um, with paying by PayPal. But Thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you guys again next Tuesday so I can finally reveal what's gonna be released next week. Thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you then, bye-bye.